Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's review graphing linear equations. First of all, this is a linear equation, both y and x are to the first power. We have y equals 2x minus 4, and it's placed in what we call the slope-intercept form. The general form of that equation then is y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient in front of the variable x, is the slope, and b, the number by itself, is called the y-intercept. And we'll get to that in just a moment to see what that really is and what that represents. Also, we'll learn how to set up a table of values to help us graph things on the xy plane. So the first thing we're going to do is put a table of values together. Since x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable, that means that the value for y depends upon what we place in for x. So we're going to put in certain values for x and see what the corresponding values for y are. So first of all, let's say what happens when x is equal to 0. When I put a 0 in there, 2 times 0, which is 0 minus 4, gives me minus 4 for y. When I plug in the number 1, 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 4, gives me a minus 2. When I plug in the value for 2, uh, or when I plug in 2 for the value for x, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 4 gives me 0 for y. When I plug in the value of 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 gives me 2. When I plug in the value for 4, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 4, which is 4. This is what we call a table of values, which explain the ordered pairs that satisfy this equation. So what we can do is we can plug in those ordered pairs on an xy coordinate system and see what the solution looks like. There we go. Here's my y-axis. Here's my x-axis. And let's plug in the ordered pairs. When x equals 0, y is a negative 4. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, x. And we have 1, 2, y, 3, negative 4, 4, negative 5, 2, 6. negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6, negative 5, negative one, 4, two, three, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right. So when x equals 0, y is a negative 4. 0, negative 4, that's this point right there. When x equals 1, y is negative 2. That would be this point right there. When x equals 2, y is 0. When x equals 2, y is 0. When x equals 3, y is 2, right there. And when x equals 4, y is 4. That would be right there. Again, the way you find the points, plug in 0 for x and go down to y equals negative 4. Plug in 1 for x, you get negative 2. Plug in 2 for x, you get 0. 3 for x, you get 2. 4 for x, you get 4. It's a little high here. Let's put it right there. And you can see that all those points are in a, a straight line, uh, slightly over, so like this. And you can connect all those points with a line. And so this line represents the relationship between x and y in this particular equation. We can also use what we call the slope-intercept form to graph linear equations. Again, what we can do is we can draw an xy coordinate system. There's my y-axis, y -axis. there's my x-axis, and here's one, two, like this three, here. Four, so we have one, one two, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four. There we go. What we first do is find the y-intercept. So let me take this equation and put it right next to this one. We have y is equal to 2x minus 4. Notice this here is what we call the slope. And this number here represents the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. That means right here when y equals 4, that's where the graph, oh, not 4, negative 4, negative 4, that's down here. This is where the graph crosses the y-axis. That's what we call the y-intercept. Now the slope by definition is equal, oh, the slope, is equal to the rise divided by the run. That means, in this case, the slope rise over run is 2 divided by 1, which means, starting from the place where it crosses the y-intercept, if I go up two units, because that's what we mean by the rise, and then run one unit, meaning go to the right by one unit, I find another point on the line. So the rise is 2, and the run is 1. Again, I rise 2 from negative 2, I go negative 1 to 0, and I rise 1. Then again, I rise 2, and I run 1. I rise 2, and run 1. And all we have to do now, just like we did before, we need to then connect these dots. Oop. I'll better go from this direction. There we go. 
And notice we have the very same result, which means we can draw a linear equation simply by making a table of values, plugging in specific values for x and then getting corresponding values for y, putting them on the xy plane and connecting them, or we can use the slope-intercept form. Here's the equation, slope, y-intercept. Find the y-intercept, the place where it crosses the y-axis. Here it's at negative 4. Then use the slope, the definition, rise over run. Go up two units, over one, over, one, units, over one. Connect those dots, and you have the very same line. And that's what we mean by graphing linear equations, either using a table value or using the slope-intercept form. And that's how it's done.